Hey folks, Dave Lytle back with his great son to give you a rundown on Orion's Giant View 16 by 80 ED binoculars. Uh, these things, I believe, are primarily intended for backyard astronomy, but uh, unlike their 20 by 80s, we found that these are rather good for terrestrial viewing. We tried the 20 by 80s, but we found that while they were fine under the stars in daylight conditions, just looking around at the flora and fauna, we picked up a rather severe amount of color aberration, real separation, uh, to where you could look at a seagull's wings, and on the top side it was yellow, and on the bottom side it was like a neon green, uh, rather severe. So I took a chance. I figured, you know, at 16 power, we're going to get a pretty nice field on these things. Uh, let's see what they do with the ED lenses. Got them, and yes, it has severely cut down on the color aberration. It's still there for daylight viewing if you're really looking for it. Uh, you look at a tree trunk and you can just make out, if you look close, a very fine line of uh, violet on one side of the tree and surprisingly a, again, neon green for some reason, I don't know why, on the other, on the other side. Um, but uh, much, much better. It really doesn't bother me and these things, they're fairly sharp. Uh, we did our standard testing with the 1951 United States Air Force test target for resolution. At 60 yards, both my son and I managed to uh, see group zero, element two, which was pretty fine. And uh, the binoculars themselves, they may have something of a plasticky feel, but that's because they're plastic coated everywhere around an aluminum body. So they're evidently sturdy enough. I've had no problems with them. The, uh, the eye cups are three position eye cups and they don't make a big click, but they definitely find their position. Yeah, there might actually be four positions there. I'm sorry. One, two, yeah, it feels like three though. Um, once they're extended, and in position, you can press down on them. They won't give. And what I also like is that the bridge here, uh, it really doesn't flex. It's a good solid bridge. I don't know how many components are actually plastic, but it seems to work rather fine. The focuser is nice and smooth in either direction. Uh, a little easier to collapse then extend pressure wise but smooth all the way the diopter uh, is very firm yet easy to maneuver not much range on it but i haven't had any problems with it so far uh, a a good unit overall it would appear at least as far as the view is concerned uh, good sharp picture and another thing that I like with these large lenses, I kind of anticipated, like with most, most binoculars recently, a uh, small sweet spot. But actually, I'm getting about 75% uh, of the field uh, sharp. It's kind of hard to determine sometimes because we've been looking over a lot of mirage off of rooftops. But when things settle down, yeah, it's about 75% of the field, which is comfortable. And beyond that, even when it really starts to roll off, unlike a lot of other binoculars, um, it doesn't really roll off horribly. Yeah, it goes out of focus, but not so severely where some binoculars I've tried, they just start dumping focus like crazy. Um, 
I, uh, I'm going to have to give a thumbs up on these. Uh, very quick, simple <laughs> review. Um, you can call Orion or look on their website for all the details. But the field is, is large. The uh, light uh, exit pupil, I believe, is about four millimeters. And with the extra eye relief, yeah, this thing's a winner. I'm going to let my son jump in here and give his two cents on it. Thank you. Now, before we got them, the 20 by 80s and the 16 by 80s, we had heard talk about some Celestron patrons who sometimes don't get their pieces perfectly collimated and they need to send it back in. And we were worried that would be the case for us too when we got the Orions. But so far, between the two of them, the collimation has been just perfect. It isn't the whole inventory, but from what we've seen so far, it seems pretty good. Um, as a little bit of uh, testament to that, about this time last year, I was observing Jupiter with these, and the four Galilean moons happened to be in beautiful alignment, and there was, there was no comet tail effect, no chroma. It was just four perfectly spherical objects orbiting an even larger perfectly spherical object. Just stunning. And I took some pretty good pictures of it with these. The third thing I want to talk about is this bar right here. Now, he didn't mention it because he's not taking into account any possible newbies who are just getting into this hobby or it's just piqued their interest. So for those of you who don't know, this is your tripod mount, or your adapter for it at least. And what is interesting about this, what's noteworthy, is this little knob here. By twisting it, it allows you to shift the position of the adapter wherever you need to. And, as you can probably see right there, it pivots. That means regardless of the terrain or position or orientation you want to put your binoculars in, you can always find that perfect balance to make sure it is as stable as it could ever be. Last but certainly not least is our case. The case that this will be shipped to you with, if, should you get it. Now, of course, you have your strap. And it comes with a very nice little zip pocket in the front to keep your cleaning doodads, charts, whatever. Whatever astronomical utilities you have. To retrieve our binoculars, simply remove the Velcro, unzip, and inside it will be contained within the hard cover inner box. giving me trouble here. Simply remove, slips out when it doesn't get snagged because I'm incompetent at in putting things away, and there you go. So on the overall, my synopsis is that this is an excellent pair of binoculars. Uh, the sharpness is all there, the color is excellent, and that combined makes it one of the best astronomical binoculars I've come across. I like to borrow these from my dad at night to uh, look primarily at the Orion Nebula. And it's not just some splotch out there when you're looking through these. You get to see all of the gaseous and plasmic tendrils in all their glory with these. It is gorgeous. Just pure excellence. So, yes... If you're looking for a pair for the big stuff out there, this is definitely the way to go.